Welcome to a journey through one of the most fascinating and mysterious topics in biblical lore. The Ophanim, celestial beings often depicted as wheels intertwined with divine purpose. As we delve into the intricate visions of the prophet Ezekiel, we uncover the profound significance of these extraordinary angels and their role in the divine realm. Through Ezekiel's eyes we witness a chariot of fire, a throne of sapphire, and wheels within wheels, all symbolizing the omniscient and omnipresent nature of God. This journey promises to offer a deeper understanding of the Ophanim and a richer appreciation of the divine mysteries that shape our faith. Join us as we explore biblical prophecy, the hierarchy of angels, and the spiritual significance of the supernatural realm. Stay with us until the end to unravel the enigma of the Ophanim and gain insights into God's omnipotence and His covenant with humanity. Angels are referenced throughout the Bible with mentions in the Old Testament alone. They intervene in the lives of key figures such as Abraham and Jacob in the book of Genesis and appear to Moses in the book of Exodus. The writings of Moses mention angels or the word angel 32 times. These beings are introduced as the hosts of heaven, described as real and impactful spiritual personalities, not mythical figures. Just like the demonic world, the angelic realm is hidden, yet it significantly influences the physical world. Among the most mysterious of these angels are the Ophanim. The Ophanim in the Old Testament, the term Ophanim in ancient Hebrew translates to wheels. The singular form is Ophan. Wheels are mentioned several times in the Old Testament, often referring to ordinary wheels on carts or chariots. However, the wheels of particular interest are those associated with the throne of God, especially in Ezekiel's vision. The prophet Ezekiel, Ezekiel's name means God is strong or God strengthens. He lived during one of the most challenging periods in Judah's history, the Babylonian exile. During Nebuchadnezzar's conquest in 597 BC, Ezekiel was among the 10,000 captives taken from Jerusalem. He likely prophesied in Babylon to the exiles and settlements along the river Chabar. His ministry was crucial for the exiles, offering them life through adherence to his words and warning of judgment for those who ignored them. Ezekiel's messages demonstrated that God continued to communicate with his people even during severe judgment, indicating that while they would be punished, they were not abandoned. Ezekiel's vision of the Ophanim Ezekiel's ministry began with a profound vision from God. Describing the Ophanim in Ezekiel's vision requires understanding the full context of the revelation. God opened the heavens to Ezekiel's temporal eyes, revealing one of the most challenging passages to translate in the Old Testament. In Ezekiel, the prophet describes his vision. Now it came about in the thirteenth year, on the fifth day of the fourth month, while I was by the river Chabar among the exiles, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. On the fifth of the month in the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's exile, the word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel, the priest, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chabar. And there the hand of the Lord came upon him. As I looked, behold, a high wind was coming from the north, a great cloud with fire flashing intermittently and a bright light around it, and in its midst, something like gleaming metal in the midst of a fire. Ezekiel used similes to describe what he saw, comparing it to familiar objects to convey an idea of its appearance. He noticed a dark cloud of lightning and fire approaching from the north, containing four luminous beings that, although resembling humans, were not human in any way. Each had four faces, human, lion, ox, and eagle. These creatures, later identified as cherubim in Ezekiel 10, were part of his vision. The cherubim and the ophanim, Ezekiel 1, Bavemina 7, describes the cherubim and within it there were figures resembling four living beings, and this was their appearance. They had human form. Each of them had four faces and four wings. Their legs were straight, and their feet were like a calf's hoof, and they sparkled like polished bronze. The cherubim are celestial beings created by God, first appearing in the Bible after Adam and Eve's fall from grace, they are often depicted as attending the throne of God and executing His will. 
far from the chubby, angelic-looking creatures portrayed by artists. Ezekiel 1-8-10 further details their appearance and movement, emphasizing their intelligence, strength, servitude, and loftiness. The Wheels the Ophanim, after describing the cherubim, Ezekiel turns to the wheels, the Ophanim. These wheels are part of a chariot-like structure, described in Ezekiel. Now as I looked at the living beings, behold, there was one wheel on the ground beside the living beings for each of the four of them. The appearance of the wheels and their workmanship was like sparkling topaz, and all four of them had the same form, their appearance and workmanship being as if one wheel were within another. Whenever they moved, they moved in any of their four directions without turning as they moved. As for their rims, they were high and awesome, and the rims of all four of them were covered with eyes all around. Whenever the living beings moved, wheels moved with them, and whenever the living beings rose from the earth, the wheels rose also. Wherever the spirit was about to go, they would go in that direction, and the wheels rose just as they did, for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. Whenever those went, they went. And whenever those stopped, they stopped. And whenever those rose from the earth, the wheels rose just as they did, for the spirits of the living being was in the wheels. The interaction between the wheels and the cherubim suggests a divine connection with the Spirit of God manifesting in their movements. The multiple eyes on the rims represent God's omniscience, His complete awareness of everything, the chariot throne Ezekiel's vision is challenging to visualize, but can be imagined as a magnificent chariot with four wheels bringing the throne of God. The scene conveys continuous motion and activity, not chaotic but orderly and purposeful. Ezekiel 1 20 Tominus 28 describes the expanse above the cherubim, resembling a crystal-like expanse, and the sound of their wings, likened to abundant waters or the voice of the Almighty. Ezekiel also sees a throne occupied by a figure with a human-like appearance, but more akin to flames than physical matter. The vision includes a rainbow around the throne, symbolizing God's covenant promise and divine power. The significance of the Ophanim the Ophanim reveal much about God. Their appearance and operation demonstrate God's absolute dominion over the cosmos. The omnidirectional wheels remind us of God's omnipresence, capable of being everywhere at once. The eyes symbolize his omniscience, seeing and knowing everything. While there is no specific mention of the Ophanim as angelic beings in the scriptures, apocryphal Jewish writers later categorized them as a class of angels due to their unique characteristics, supernatural power, and proximity to God's throne. Whether they are angels or divinely powered mechanisms, their function is to display God's glory. The supernatural realm and believers understanding the supernatural realm is crucial for Christians. Ephesians 6 11 12 emphasizes the spiritual battle believers face. Put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. God wants believers to be aware of the supernatural realm so they can be prepared to face spiritual challenges. While some downplay the supernatural aspects of their faith, others become overly preoccupied with them. A balanced perspective is necessary recognizing the reality of the spiritual world while remaining grounded in faith. Ezekiel's role and vision Ezekiel's visions were crucial for his ministry. God consistently provided him with unusual visions, which he communicated creatively and clearly. Despite the people's response, Ezekiel remained steadfast in his convictions, following the leadership axiom of seeing clearly, showing creatively and saying constantly, the phrase, Son of Man, is used for Ezekiel around 90 times, emphasizing his role as a messenger of the Divine Sovereign. Ezekiel was known for his creativity, using visual aids and dramatic performances to convey his message. Despite his efforts, many did God not act you. on his words, leading to his disappointment. The purpose of angels, angels serve various purposes in God's plan. They execute God's will, 
carry out his commands and perform his word. Psalms 103, 20-21 highlights their role. Bless the Lord, you his angels who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Angels are committed to obeying God's commands and believers can rely on them to carry out God's will. Different ranks of angels exist, including regular angels, cherubim, seraphim, archangels like Michael and messengers like Gabriel. Each has specific roles and responsibilities in God's plan. As we conclude our exploration of the enigmatic ophonim, we hope this journey through biblical prophecy has deepened your understanding of these celestial beings and their profound significance within the divine hierarchy. The visions of Ezekiel filled with wheels of fire and angelic wonders offer a glimpse into the extraordinary nature of God's omnipresence and omniscience. The Ophanim, with their intricate and awe-inspiring presence, remind us of the limitless power and mystery of the divine. They serve as a testament to the complexity and beauty of the heavenly realm, urging us to contemplate the deeper aspects of our faith and spirituality. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. May the insights gained from our exploration of the Ophanim enrich your spiritual journey and inspire you to seek further understanding of the divine mysteries that shape our existence.